Hello everyone, my name is Fabio Bottarelli and I'm the product manager for actuation and handling at Camozzi Automation. Camozzi has developed many products for the handling sector and today I would like to talk to you about our pneumatic grippers. These can be classified according to type, characteristics or application. Here, in front of me, you can see samples of all our gripper families. To better understand each gripper, I'll start by classifying them according to the type of movement of the jaws. Let's start with the parallel grippers, which are characterized by a linear and parallel jaw movement. These are the most commonly used in the handling sector. Now the three jaw grippers, which differ from the first type, only by having three jaws instead of two. The jaws move in a linear concentric way towards the center. The grippers are particularly suitable for applications where the workpiece is round. Now let's see radial grippers, which use rotary movement of the jaws. Radial grippers usually move by 180 degrees, so 90 degrees per jaw. Finally, we have angular grippers. These also use a rotary movement, but limited to 30 degrees or 15 degrees per jaw. Now, let's look at parallel grippers. The first grippers that I'll show you are the Kamotsi series CGPS. These incorporate a ball guide for high performance in terms of opening and closing speed, and especially precision and repeatability in the positioning of the jaws. The main use of this gripper is in assembly machines, pick and place, transfer, sorting, insertion, and other applications where high speed and high position in precision are required. These grippers can also be combined with rotary actuators to create very compact and very precise piece tilting systems. Now the CG LN series. This series is characterized by a robust sliding guide and a rack and pinion system, which means they can be made for strokes, including very long or wide opening. The third model of grippers I want to discuss is the CGSP series, which features a very robust T-shaped sliding guide for high resistance to external loads. Its high efficiency lever mechanism enables high closing and opening forces. The CGSP series gripper is very compact and can be used in applications in which the motion system requires high accelerations, which stress the guides of the gripper. Typical applications for this gripper are machine tool tending and assembly duties. Another area in which they are widely used is the end-of-arm tooling sector in plastic injection moulding. In this case, the grippers are used to handle medium-light products, but with very high accelerations that put a lot of strain on the gripper guides. The last parallel gripper that I'll show you is the CGPT series. This is our caliper par excellence because it is the most complete. It's a gripper with a robust T-shaped sliding guide characterized by a high degree of resistance to moments and external forces. It has a high-performing lever action that guarantees high closing and opening forces, yet it's very compact. It's an ideal gripper for use with industrial robots, able to accelerate at up to 20 meters per second squared. Such accelerations usually affect the gripper guides 
But in this case, thanks to the T-Guide, the CGPT series grippers are able to guarantee high reliability. The materials and surface coatings of this type of gripper have been specifically chosen to optimize the gripper's reliability and resistance to corrosion. The CGPT is also suitable for applications that require a reverse geometry where the gripper is fixed and holds the workpiece for operations like deburring, insertion of O-rings, perforating, etc. Now let's move on to another type of gripper, the three-jaw gripper. The CGZT series is the sister of the parallel CGPT series. It is also equipped with a sliding T-shaped guide and incorporates a high-performing lever actuation system. Its main application is in combination with industrial robots for machine tool tending. The difference between the CGZT series and the parallel CGPT series is the use of three jaws, which move in a concentric way, closing in towards the centre rather than linearly. This gripper is ideal for handling round parts. Significantly, the CGZT series grippers can be powered from the bottom via an interface at the robot's wrist. So, it's not necessary to have compress hair hoses right to the gripper. Now let's move on to radial grippers. The distinctive feature of the CGSY series grippers is their rotational movement of the two jaws. As for the radial grippers, this rotational movement has an amplitude of 180 degrees, or 90 degrees per jaw. This feature is very important because when the gripper is fully open, the space in front of the gripper is totally free. This means that it can use it in applications where it's not the gripper that picks up the workpiece, but the gripper is fixed and the piece is delivered to the grip in position. This wide clearance means that the workpiece does not have to be manoeuvred into position and thus the cycle times of the machine can be optimized. Typical applications for this gripper are the loading unloading of components in assembly processes done on rotary tables and applications in the plastic bottle blowing sector. There are machines in which it is possible to have several grippers together, moved by a single linear axis. In these applications, the grippers need to be very fast, and this is a feature of the CGSY gripper. Opening and closing must take place in a very short time to optimize cycle times as much as possible. This means that there isn't time to approach and move away from the workpiece. The machine just has to load the tubes and unload the bottles. The CGSY gripper is ideal because it completely clears the space in front of it. Another feature of the gripper used in this type of application is synchronism. This means that all the grippers positioned close to each other must open and close at the same time. We achieve this synchronism by calibrating the orifices and the air pressure supply channels. Another series of grippers that I want to discuss is the angular gripper. This differs from the previous radial gripper only in the fact that the opening of the jaws is by a rotary motion limited to 30 degrees or 15 per jaw. What is the benefit of this feature? The smaller movement means shorter opening and closing times, higher cycle times. Another benefit, when using several grippers, they can be very close to each other, leading to a compact and efficient machine. The CGSY gripper is particularly suitable for applications such as transfer from one conveyor to another, palletizing, pick and place and for handling food products, cosmetics or assembly in general.
derivati alimentari, per la cosmetica oppure nel mondo dell'assemblaggio in generale. Let's move on to a completely different type of gripper, one that is especially designed for specific applications such as sprue grippers as used in injection molding. These grippers are very light. They're angular with 30 degree opening. Their main feature is that they are not self-centering, which means that the grippers do not always close in the same position, but adapt to the position of the workpiece. These grippers are able to adapt to the sprue position on each workpiece on the fly. These grippers must be very light because the speed of motion systems is really high. They all incorporate a shank that is used to mount them on the end of arm tooling. They're available in three different sizes, 8, 12 and 20 mm, and for each of these sizes there are different types of jaws, including some with integral workpiece presence sensors. The last type of grippers that I want to present today are bespoke grippers, which are developed with the end user to meet the specific needs of particular applications. Camozzi's many, many years' experience in the handling sector means they can quickly develop bespoke designs. Typically, standard grippers can be produced to customize dimensions and or with special finger designs and configurations. In other cases, it is the functions that are customized. An example is this, a gripper developed by Camozzi for a customer that needed to handle much higher forces than normal. In other cases, grippers are developed entirely from customer drawings or via detailed collaborations. I want to conclude my presentation by giving you general information that is universal to all our grippers. First of all, Camozzi manufactures and develops its own grippers in Italy. Secondly, besides the variants that each series has, all our grippers have ATEX variants for high temperature applications and versions suitable for the food sector. All materials and surface coatings have been chosen specifically in order to optimize reliability and resistance to corrosion. For example, our grippers do not include copper, silicone or PTFE. As copper is harmful in the assembly of electronic components, silicone is unsuitable in painting applications and PTFE could cause problems in ATEX zones. Briefly summarizing what we've seen, we can say that Camozzi is able to provide solutions for all application needs. Within our range we have grippers dedicated to industrial automation in general, packaging, assembly, material handling, plastics and rubber, etc. There are grippers that can be used for the specific sector of robotics, grippers dedicated to plastic injection molding and grippers that are born from a co-designing process with the customer. May I remind you that today's presentation has covered only a part of the range that Camozzi has dedicated to the handling sector. Grippers, in fact, are only one of the three pillars. There are also vacuum components and actuators. All of these can be combined with other technologies that Camozzi offers, such as pneumatic and electrical actuation. Thus, we offer complete handling and motion solutions.
offrire e proporre soluzioni complete di manipolazione e movimentazione. Finally, our technicians, together with our customer service personnel, are at your disposal for sizing or to help you choose the best solutions for your applications. Thank you and see you in our next video.